All right, Jamie, thank you. Governor Daniel Malloy is calling lawmakers back to Hartford because the union concession deal appears to have collapsed, and he has no choice, he says, but to prepare thousands of layoffs and more spending cuts. We can tell you more state employee bargaining units approved the concessions today, but it appears more than likely that two were rejected, and that will scuttle the entire deal. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis on the scene at the state capitol with the latest. Governor Malloy says he is assuming the union concession deal will collapse and he will call the legislature back into special session next week. He told me today that he's moving forward and is not disappointed. I don't have time to be disappointed. I got a state to run and uh, so you move forward and, and you know I was always very clear uh, that I was trying to avoid massive layoffs. Unfortunately we'll be unable to avoid that and, and now we just have to uh, put the whole thing back together in a different form. It means lawmakers will come back to Hartford next Thursday to vote on the layoffs which would be effective by September 1st and more cuts in spending. It's expected that the union representing the 1800 workers at the Enfield Summers prison complex will reject the deal in voting that concludes tonight killing the deal. 17-year veteran correction officer Barry Pulster is among those voting no. I don't want someone telling me that I'm going to go on to a valued health care plan and uh, some other stuff. I just don't, I don't agree with it. There's widespread speculation that the union leadership will call for some re-votes in some bargaining units, but their spokesman hedged on that. When CBAC leadership meets on Monday, we'll have a discussion of um, everything that's happened and what could happen prospectively. State Senator Edith Prague is one of the strongest supporters of the state labor unions and says she's disgusted. This is the best deal that they could possibly get and they're absolutely ridiculous to vote against it. For the governor, it means finding 700 to 800 million more in savings from those layoffs and spending cuts in the new budget year. A special legislative session next Thursday would be cutting it very, very close. The state's new budget year starts next Friday. At the state capitol, Mark Davis, News 8.